best play right now is to DM him. <laughs> Getting angry! No one freaking cares! Get this weak garbage out of here! Should know what's happening by now. We actually have two ways of winning. We have either Mustache Valk or Mustache Trickster is also guaranteed. <laughs> I'd rather do Mustache Trickster for some reason. It seems more fun. Double bonus attack. Hello? Don't freeze. Die? Die. Got him. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. You ready to start? You ready, you guys? You ready for this, you guys? What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are bringing back the Valk Trickster Hybrid, probably the most powerful uh, deck from set one. The recent Valk decks have been nerfed. Uh, a lot of the cards, even though Valk really is the same, again, the most powerful deck on the zombie side, uh, This, you know, before the recent patch that happened uh, in May, uh, was the fact that the Valkyries, you can play them, buff them up with all your cards. We were doing, like, you know, in that deck, you were basically running Barrel of Deadbeards, uh, and Final Mission. Final Mission got nerfed, which slowed it down, and you're basically uh, playing a Valkyrie onto a Mustache Monument. Uh, it does this huge, huge bonus attack because the Valkyrie uh, will charge up very, very quickly as all the uh, little minions die. Now, uh, I'd say the main card that was nerfed in the original um, Valkyrie deck uh, was this card over here, the Regifting Zombie. The Regifter was, uh, is this card over here, I'll just pull it up for you. Um, this was a, de a card that, again, you're just running Valkyries and a lot of little minions, and this would ensure that you can draw enough small minions and also draw your val Valkyries. I mean, in, in a deck that has just one card that focuses on the whole win condition is just your Valks. Uh, if you don't draw your Valks, you're really, really messed up, and this was, used to cost two. Um, so it was actually a cheap card to play on two. You could also play it, let's say, on three or four with other, you know, with other plays. Uh, now that this costs three, it's actually way too slow. Uh, and you really cannot run this uh, in the deck. This card is, is seriously, is, it has become quite bad. Um, so instead of actually, you know, relying on drawing tons and tons of cards in order to draw into your Valk, uh, what you actually have to do is add a second type of win condition. Uh, and that's why we are running the Valk Trickster Hybrid. So if you don't get any of your Valks, uh, likely you will get a Trickster. Uh, the only card draw in this deck uh, is going to be two copies of Funded Razor. And then, of course, uh, the Power, which is Telepathy, which will draw cards in your deck. Eureka will draw you maybe more minions to charge your Valk with, but it won't help you actually charge, you know, draw a Valk unless you are extremely lucky because it draws you random cards. Um, so, you, again, you have to decide, this is a difficult deck to play because right when you draw your starting hand before your mulligan, you have to decide, am I going to try to go the Valkyrie way or the Trickster way? This is a deck I've really worked on probably more than any other deck in the game. Uh, back in the day in terms of refining how many tricks and how many minions. Uh, it's really important to run four copies of Beam Me Up since this is both a trick and a minion. So if you have those tricksters in your hand, uh, those are going to become cheaper and cheaper every time you play uh, a trick. And if you have a Valk in your hand, it will be a minion which will die and will charge up your Valkyrie. Instead of running uh, good old Rocket Science, we are running Exploding Fruitcake. This takes out a lot of cards that Brainstorm in the past have actually struggled against. The main one uh, is Wingnut, which has, you know, is a three three attack, seven health, so this is a great answer to that, good answer to Piconolith, uh, and there's just a bunch of cards. This will usually uh, suffice as your big removal against anything except for um, Soul Patch, in which case you'd actually need two Exploding Fruitcakes, etc., in order to take that out. Um, it's really nice to be running uh, the uh, uh, Fireworks. I did actually cut one Fireworks from this deck uh, in favor of, the one, of one of the Mustache Monuments. I basically took out a... Um, a bonus attack and a fireworks. Uh, so the Barrel of Deadbeards does count as two minions for your Valkyrie. Again, it's really efficient in that sense. It really doesn't do much at all for your Trickster except stall for time. Uh, so there is a, your Valkyries also count as a minion for your Valkyrie. You really have to keep that in mind that if you have two Valkyries in your hand, you can play one as a powerful minion, a three cost six six or eight six, and then that will be a force on the board, and when they remove that, it'll keep on charging the one in your hand. Uh, so again, really, really specific deck list. I'll, I'll show you how it goes, and uh, here we go. This deck has so much potential. 
um, e even more in a way than the old Valve decks because it's reliable. It doesn't have that same power of having one strategy and concentrating on it, but rather it has two strategies which makes it more reliable because you're more likely to draw either a Trickster or a Valkyrie in your hand. So we do see a Trickster in a hand which means that sort of um, preliminarily we're just going to be going with the Trickster the trickster way here. So having fruitcake, you definitely want to try to get more tricks now than minions. I'll get rid of the um, firework zombie, which doesn't seem to be any way that good against Wall Knight, the high health of Wall Knight anyway. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Mustache Monument. Again, Mustache Monument is good with Trickster. I'll make it do two bonus attacks when you play it, but this early in the game, we really are looking for more tricks. Unfortunately, I end up with the Barrel of Dead Birds Fireworks, which again, is not that bad because I would rather get Bungie Plumbers and Beam Me Ups and stuff like that. Uh, it's really not that bad, though, because, again, these will at least stall for time. You know, when you play Barrel on 2 and Fireworks on 3, it'll splash 2, da two damage all around the field and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully we'll get some tricks from this Eureka. This does count as your first trick, too. So if you go the, Val the, 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 the Trickster way, you kind of always start off with at least one trick, which is nice. And, of course, we've got none. Uh, we did get a interesting uh, lineup of cards two amphibious minions and then we got the new mechasaur so who knows if we get it you know if we have an opportunity to play this we'll try to get some value out of it later uh we really again i'm not gonna really play fruitcake on turn two necessarily this does work in much later turns it does seven damage so this will work you know easily through turn five to remove their play um i'm going to set up a barrel of dead beards you typically want to put this in one in this deck uh, maybe actually the barrels you put in four. Uh, I'm used to not. I'm not used to playing this exact version. I think the barrels actually we should be putting in four, and I'll tell you why. If we have in the top deck right now a second barrel of dead beards, uh, now we have two tricksters. We need to charge and very few tricks here. Um, I'm just thinking if we ever wanted to, to you know, get a second barrel of dead beards. If this one's in four, you can place the uh, next barrel in front of one of their minions in one of the first three lanes, and then it'll explode and make this barrel. Um, actually do four damage that turn, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously no going virals in a, uh, Professor Brainstorm deck. So I could play one of these, one of these minions. I don't see a Valk yet. I think I'm just gonna play on, on Curve and go with the, um, go with the Dolphin here. We really have no tricks. This is a little problematic here. Again, the, the minions we have, we've got two tricksters. Okay, that's that's interesting. We're actually gonna fireworks right now to kill this three nut because we do not want him playing a bunch of nuts. It looks like this is gonna be a little bit of a hard matchup here. Uh, I'm gonna fireworks immediately. I, I really wish I had a Valkyrie in my hand because now two of our own minions are gonna die. It's worth it though to kill this three nut again. We're we're really just controlling uh, with the light game in mind. A little bit hand screwed right now, not having enough tricks. This is again the reason why I'm not running more minions. If you look at the deck list, there's so many more tricks than minions. Because I just feel like minions are easy to come by. You get them from Eureka, for example. And uh, man, we're facing a Mirror Nut deck for our first match. This is really rough, actually. The Mirror Nut decks have typically always been the answer to Trickster, and we're essentially just running a Trickster deck now. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna try to um, fruitcake, I suppose. Let's do this. And uh, we'll fruitcake. If he plays a second Mirror Nut or a Pecanolith, we'll fruitcake it. There's the Pecanolith. Um, but again, it's at, we're, oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. We'll actually get a, get a proc, proc poly this turn. Mm, roll to one. We can roll this three here. This is down to one health. I can always firework this down if I want to. I probably will play a fireworks this next turn. Uh, be, you want to kind of play the fireworks before he puts too many nuts on the field, because then it'll actually make do a lot more damage to us. He will have two nuts, but we're, it's only going to hit once, because again, we do have a, a full block meter, so unless he rolls a one on something. There's Valk. Okay, this actually changes a lot. We're going to... This is interesting. We're actually going to just play this fire. Our opponent's down to 9 health. Our opponent is actually in big, big problems here. Uh, telepathy would be the best thing on the block. Of course, you don't take any damage. This hits us twice. Ooh, what about summoning? I was going to play Mustache Monument. I'm, I'm going to go with summoning here, though. It, it is. A, it will charge our tricksters. <laughs> Egg. Okay. Uh, and we will actually have a... 
we, we again, this turn we had six, so we will actually be able to play a Trickster. So if we can do three damage this turn, Trickster wins next turn. And that's a really slow play. He's going to have to field clear us. But if he field clear us, we actually have must a Mustache Monument Valkyrie. So kind of good to save the Mustache Monument here, actually. He's going to heal. He's not really clearing up any lanes for these Tricksters to come in is the problem, though. We're at 11 health. Give me something good. That's not bad. I mean, that's three damage. That's pretty darn good. And he does not have, again, he does not have a Bacchanalith or a, or a Muronite anymore, probably. Um, don't have any more amphibious minions. This is when bonus attack would be better than Mustache Monument, obviously. There's a Teleport. I hope He has to remove some of these cards. He's not going to be able to just chump lock these forever, so... Teleport Trickster, uh, Teleport Trickster seems like a play here. Just field clear me, come on. No, that's not what we want to see happen. Dang, we're taking so much heat here. Wait. No way! That is like the best play he could have done. He just played Mirnut, Walnut, Walnut. How is this not? Come on, man. He's got the five damage. We have to roll higher. We can't just roll ones. Come on, man. Roll one, one, two. One. And, and a two. Great. Get hit five times and we don't block. I, we Come on, man. Whatever. You know, this is... <laughs> He had the perfect counter to our deck, and he just had a godlike turn six. Come on, man! And then a godlike block meter. He rolled. He rolled three. Oh, come on, man! All right. So we have a Valkyrie, and we have a. Um, it's so interesting. We have teleport Valkyrie bonus attack. And we have a Barrel of Deadbeard, so we really kind of, this is really a great, great hand. I mean, their Barrel of Deadbeards counts as two minions. We'll draw in some more cards, we'll get some more minions coming up. And we have, again, Teleport Valkyrie bonus attack is the same really as, uh, as Mustache Valk, so amazing. What's my favorite plant legendary card? Um, I don't know, Brainana. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's the best, the best is Bright Rose, but, um... Brainana's fun and trolly. I'll bring back that Brainana deck. So we'll start off by drawing some cards. Not in any kind of rush. Ooh, we have Tricksters now, too. And a Wrath. Uh, the sound just cut out now. Hmm. Oh, now it's back. This is actually the app misbehaving. I found that there's little, little glitches here and there. This is against Nightcap, so the exploding barrels and stuff like that should hopefully give us a lot of value. We'll wrath that in the meantime. Annoying pricks. Come on, man. We don't have a mustache monument. This is so stupid. <laughs> Just easy damage. Our opponent's gonna run out of cards. Um, teleport barrel might just be so good here. You know, we, we kind of need to teleport for our Valks and stuff, but this is a guy also without a lot of removal. I think I'm going to teleport Barrel. <laughs> I could just play Barrel. Nah, I'd rather I'd rather drain a couple more cards. Damn. Damn it. Never mind. Uh, I think we'll do this now, actually. Makes this two damage. Well, we should block this one. Uh, we'll do it like this. Okay. Uh, barrel doesn't really work now. It's not bad placement though. Uh, we could still do teleport barrel. I kind of would like those da back of dancers to die first. He's going to really charge with the Valk. We might just draw cards this turn. If we play something really big, I guess we'll fruit cake. If we play Pine Clone, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I, I don't know about freeze decks. I'll probably come back to them. We're gonna have to really come back to everything because freeze decks were too slow. And we'll, 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 we'll try to come back to them. That's interesting. Going with the slithery little snake. So it's not a bad fruit cake. It's sad giving him an extra card though. He's still low on cards. Any other options? Uh, 
We happen to top deck a bungee plumber. It's too risky though. Too many snacks are not good. We can also, you know, a, 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 a second barrel or a fireworks would also be an option here. So I'm actually gonna be really, really aggressive in my card management and actually let him get another snack grass here. And unfortunately, he ended up getting another barrel or, an, or a fireworks. A fireworks would be godlike here. I believe we teleport in a barrel and fruitcake. Ugh. We don't have teleport barrel, teleport barrel, unfortunately. We're one off. Arg. We're taking so much heat here, though. We actually have to do this here now. Damn. Maybe Barrel Teleport Barrel was the play? So, we shouldn't die here, needs double ones. Uh, this mills us. Which is okay, we're not gonna get an opportunity to play this anyway. There's no, like, actual cards we need right now in our deck, so... We should start putting on some offense. What do we get? Mixed up Gravedigger this, and we could play Trickster and then Mixed up Gravedigger eventually. In fact, we have Barrel, you know, Fruitcake, Teleport, Trickster, and stuff like that. We'll play this here. Fruitcake, Teleport, Trickster actually does work this turn. We just have two health, so Berry Blast wins. Strike through it sucks. So it's fruitcake. Uh, no, fruitcake. Uh, Trickster will go down to two. Teleport brings it down to one. And uh, we are good to go here, actually. Trickster will kill this. He thinks he has the guaranteed three damage. Fruitcake gave him the apple saucer, of course. Don't know what happened to the sound again. For some reason the sound sometimes cut, cuts out. I found this just since the last update. You can just go into the settings. And the sound comes back on, usually. I think it's not. There you go. Ah, uh, so that trades. This barrel will explode and kill these things. Shabam. Could use one more teleport now. This this um exploding fruitcake is very useful because it'll prevent him from going face here. Um, I wonder if mixed up gravedigger is the play. Mixed up Grave Digger and Fruitcake. It'll make the Trickster do an extra bonus attack. And then we can actually use bonus attack as well. We can also just go Fruitcake bonus attack. We need to heal ourselves. Don't have another teleport. We can beam me up if we need to chump lock a lane, or we can play bonus attack if we need to do it that way. This is fine. So we actually have Trickster mix up Gravedigger again. When the Trickster pops out, it will do 6 damage. Just have to dodge Berry Blast is the main thing right now. It can kill us. It's probably not running Shelf Shroom. I guess an Astro Shroom would also be extremely good here. It just needs 2 damage, so... He only has the he has a really uncharged block mate. He's got 14 health, which against this field is nothing. Absolutely nothing. If we had a mustache monument, it would make this turn a anyway, a little simpler. It didn't show when you subscribe. Thank you so much, Karen, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't show it. This guy's pumping it out. It doesn't look like he has an answer. He's just stalling for time here. Uh, did dodge a little bit of a bullet that game because, again, Berry Blast would have... Wow, and he doesn't do anything. Berry Blast would have totally gotten it done. You know, even his super is just not not good enough here. Blow, and uh, there's really nothing I can say on this point. 
Because what would he have to get? Blow doesn't do it. Super more spore in, in two and three, I guess, could save him. And then top deck berry blast. That would be insane. That would be so unlikely. He's AFK. He threw his phone in the lake already. He's not even trying. Even though he technically has an extremely small chance of still pulling off the victory here. Uh, but yeah, we're one and one. Keep it going. All right. Nailed it. I just turned it off because I had to restart my app. Okay, we'll just restart. <laughs> Here we go. Um. Do we want this against Rose? Rose is usually pretty slow. A card draw might actually be good against Rose. Mustache Monument also could be good. I think I'll just keep this hand. All right. We have actually a pretty good trickster, you know, curve. We have a one, two, and three cost trick. I will play this though. We'll start chipping away at our opponent a little bit, and that's not a bad thing to get. You know, that's something far, but hard to deal with. The opponent's gonna have to use a trick, a power, something to deal with, which means there's less pressure on the tricksters and stuff. And, um, and if our opponent leaves it, it just grows and becomes insane. We're chipping away at our opponent here. Kind of want to get through the way that you do the strategy when you're playing a lot of little minions early on. Is you kind of want to get through that first block meter and then really start hitting with the tricksters and the Valks uh, so our opponent doesn't block. Thanks, Sir Lagrange. Uh, this is when you draw cards, charging the trickster again. There's a Valkyrie. Our freeze decks becoming meta. Something. Don't have an activator for this, except for teleport, so we'll either Wrath or draw some more cards. If we draw cards, we'll be up to 9, draw card 10, so... Are able to. This is interesting. So this is turn 4. Our opponent will go up to 5, 6. Uh, you know, it happens to be that Cobb Cannon isn't that good against this deck. We could draw cards here. We could also teleport a barrel into this. I think we'll draw cards, we'll do Barrel Wrath next turn. Uh, you're right, we don't have any environments in this deck. That's something I actually totally neglected when I, um, when I put this deck together. I forgot about that. You know, in the more recent versions of Valk Trickster Hybrid, I've actually, the, the environments cause a big problem, because they don't work with the, they don't work neither with the Valk or with the Trickster, uh, which is an issue. I'll be able to fruit cake and do a bunch of stuff. We can also teleport in the second barrel if we want. Um, so I actually just totally neglected to uh, counter, to factor in environments. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us in the tuchas here. Uh, what is this? Ramp to draw swarm, bad moon rising. Uh, only thing you're missing is nebula, actually. You have no environments in this deck, speaking of which, so... Oh, I guess you're huge giganticus, so you don't need... I would add a couple nebulas, because you have... You're, if you're trying to ramp... You gotta do it with Nebula. What? Opponent passed? Really? Let's do this just to charge the Trickster up, I suppose. Wow. So we have Teleport Trickster. We have Fruitcake Teleport Trickster. We have Mustache, Mighty and Valk. I think we'll... I think we'll do that when it's appropriate. Wow, Brina sucks. We're, we're at plenty of health and plenty of momentum right now. I wonder if this is Troll or Rose. What have we seen so far? We've seen Ramp, just Weed Whack, and Brainana. It's possible our opponent's running a bunch of Brainanas. A bunch of Brainanas. Might get Brainana the second time here. Brainana's gonna. Brainana's a really good card now, by the way. Becoming much better since Tricksters are technically better than Valks. So don't run this in the deck, so. Uh. 
we can still teleport Trickster. Play a card. It'd be so nice to mill actually here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three will bring us to one. I think it's like this actually. We want to hit twice and then have something else hit. This on the ground makes it slightly more vulnerable, but who cares? Maybe I think we actually. Well, no, because he's just gonna go to five this. Nah, not worth it. Come on, roll like three and two there, I guess. Rosie's hammer too. This is fine. Let's go to five. This is fine. We're really just setting up the Valk, so we might as well just make this huge play. 2, 3, and then like 2 or something. Um, so let's do it like this. This will kill a whole bunch of minions. This is such an effective way of charging up. Look at this! It not only kills 3 of our minions, we'll still have 3 left on the field. Which are all offensive threats. Our opponent's at 14 with like no block meter. So again, and we can beam me up, we can fruitcake if our opponent, you know, does something like that. We have fruitcake plumber if we need it. Now we go. That actually clears our field. Valkyrie will be at, uh, yeah, it's exactly enough. It's guaranteed lethal. Got him! <laughs> Valkyrie will be at exactly 12. Got him! <laughs> hey, look! It's a trickster deck! No, it's not a trickster deck anymore! Man, he comes in with the, which usually, Dark Matter Dragon Fruit is just gonna be the hard counter to a trickster deck, but just come in with the Valk. Got him. Got him. The more they fight you, the stronger this deck gets. Absolutely amazing. That's how this deck's supposed to work, by the way. Again, I, I say that the deck is a little bit... It is bipolar in certain ways. That you have the Valk with the minions and the Trickster with the tricks, but every once in a while, you just kind of set up the kill with the Tricksters and finish them off with the Valks, or vice versa. Usually, I guess, that way. You'll do the Trickster first and the Valks later, since the Valks typically take a little longer to charge. Got him. Should you craft tricksters? The answer is yes, and I would actually say before Valk. I used to say Valk was the, was the top legendary on the plant on the on the zombie side. I think tricksters are are making the comeback. Now, what do we do with this hand? This isn't bad. I can keep this. We have the minions. We have the the guy. We'll get something. We'll get some kind of minion from 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 one of our powers. I think we're actually gonna gonna keep this. We have the turn one play. Here's another minion, and again, the first Valk does count as a minion to charge a second Valk. It'll just be a three cost six six. Why not keep that in your hand? The stats of Valkyrie itself are ridiculous, and that is such a weak play against Brainstorm because everything except for Cat Lady kills us, and we get actually one of the best cards you can get from summoning. Uh, nice deadly toxic waste him. This obviously is impossible to trade well with. Um, absolutely great. I'm definitely keeping double Valk. We're just going to use a Valk as one of the minions for Valk. You don't need it to be a barrel. I know barrel counts as two minions, but... <laughs> Try hard, welcome to the stream here. <laughs> I guess you've been around. I do not accredit Try Hard with this deck, even though he was part of the inspiration. This is totally different than OTK Val. So shut up. <laughs> it's all good. Ah... Uh... What's your deal, man? You're streaming? Are you done with school? A lot of people just finished school. The, the whole the, the year just ended in May. I don't know how that works. I guess it's just university works that way. <laughs> Ends in May. Dude! Dude, make a play! Okay, we're getting roped. Egg also wouldn't kill it, you're right. Anything else? He's smart because he's Asian? Apparently not. Um, I won't count that as a win, of course. Still get the star, though. The game counts it. Oh, we can hit Ultimate League. With Valk... With Valk uh, Hybrid? Did we do that in the first... Well, definitely not in the first season. And the second season it was with Control Neptune, I believe. Anyway. The first season I hit ultimately with Gravestone Neptune. That's a cool starting hand. I'll take I'll keep double trickster too. You keep two tricksters, three is pushing it. 
But uh, you do keep two tricksters. If you have two, two tricks in your hand, just keep the two tricksters. And this counts as a trick, so we'll try to get one in the middle lane to block a Green Shadows thing. Yeah, it seems like the daily challenge. Well, we'll see. We'll see it at two o'clock. The daily challenge technically drops in a little bit. I don't know where, where you guys live, actually. The toxic waste that made him concede. Should we, so we should count that as a win. I'm running out of time on the stream right now. Oh, this is created by Dance Up, made by Dance Up. I don't know if it used to say this, made by Dance Up. It doesn't look familiar, so that's cool. We'll full we'll cake defensively. We have two tricksters we need to charge. <laughs> we saw Prime up. I wonder how what percentage of people. I really I asked someone at Popcap recently. I'd love for them to give me the stat of like how many players. You know, rank, let's say, 20 or higher or 30 or higher. I actually asked for both of those numbers. I'm just kind of curious how big the community is. Because um, statistically, like, you think there's 5 million players who are ranked 20 and higher. It can't be. I get matched up with people I know all the time. So it really doesn't make sense. Apparently 200,000 people have watched my channel in one way or another in 2018, let's say. So statistically, there's probably a bunch of people know I am. I don't know. Data Miner says the daily will most likely be out of service for a week. Damn. Fujers with the info. Salam, Mr. the homie. Alaikum salam. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap that. Why not? Use the one that doesn't make you draw a card. And running cattail in your deck? Did that happen? We actually have three tricksters charging while I'm spacing out talking to the chat. We casually draw the third trickster and we're just drawing trick after trick can't complain if we place two cards i'll free kick both of them i don't even care sometimes i just don't care damn i don't like taking that five damage should i wrath to face no one cares <laughs> gotta get these tricksters charged up once the trickster on the field green shadow has basically no way of dealing with them I wonder, you know, I wonder if Witch Hazel starts becoming meta, you know, if that's going to end up being, but it doesn't really deal with it that turn, which is sad. Um, yeah, anyway. Eye for an eye? Is that a Hearthstone reference? Ah, okay, now I see what he's doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wait, he has three, six, man, if he had another minion on the field, we could have milled him here. So this is turn five. So tricksters are good to go here. Two, three. Uh, we don't want to charge this block. We want one of these tricksters to hit at least. Please don't roll three. Stop! Come on, man! Really? Give me a teleport now or something. That is so dumb. He rolls double threes there. How are we going to win now? We need to win this freaking game. Roll a one. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Stop complaining, Fry. Just play the trickster, okay? Just play it. Eye for an eye is a Hearthstone reference, yes. Let's see. Paladin. Fang. Wow. That's powerful. He's milled? Why is he milled again? Oh, because he drew a card at the beginning of his turn. Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> wow, I forgot. I was looking at last turn, but then he drew one more card. Duh, fuck duh. Okay, really? He only played two cards off of that. That's too slow. You should not be running this in the onion rings deck. It's not worth it. Baby, you not worth it. This is so much freaking damage though. Actually, I've just plumbered a face here. What could he play that would really screw us up? Grow plant food? Like, it would have to be exactly fertilized plant food. I'm just thinking to play this. He's not going to heal. I I'm, I'm actually just going to play this here. And plumber him in the face. This guy is way too slow. There's just, he can technically win with this card. He fertilized plant food would win, so I'm, I'll just play it safe. It's gonna be butt to face for the win, though. He took way too much heat. Wow, that mill was real. That was a significant mill. <laughs> Look at this guy. Ah, the shame when you die with the plumber's crack right in your face. 
Let's weak step out of here. Three and one. We should really be five and one. There's just been some disconnects today, so. From games that we were dominating. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> we would need fertilized plant food to win there. There's no way to win, obviously. Okay. So. We're looking for a Valk or a Trickster. What do we start getting rid of first? So you get rid of the late game cards. This counts for both. Here's a Trickster. Oh, I'll take it. And I'll keep the beat me up. <laughs> the hand instantly becomes good once you get any of your win condition cards. You gotta do the hard mulligan, though. And then you just look at your hand and you set it up. And this is actually a very good hand. Will I hit ultimate? Yeah. If something goes horribly wrong. Three. These teleports are going to be burned, by the way. We're just going to use this to draw a card and, and charge the trickster, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beam me up. The trickster charging is the priority over making some weird splash play. We can always teleport this in next turn, which will actually be. It's a lot better to teleport this in and surprise him with it the next turn, you know. Uh, this does block that. So again, we'll either have teleport barrel or. Burn, Teleport, and Plumber. Is this your favorite game? I would say so, in general. In terms of, again, it depends what you're looking for. In terms of like a game that's just fun and just so creative, you can just do so many things with, uh, which typically is my favorite parts of games. I would say this is this is my favorite game. Man. It's true. Sorry, Gwent. If I'm looking for something more serious and competitive, I'd say Gwent more. This game just gets too easy sometimes, to be honest. Oh, see, this Teleport Barrel is a sickening play here. It clears his field, prevents him from drawing that card. He is running out on the clock, and we actually did just top deck a Valk, uh, which will begin to charge right now. Disgusting. Puts a 4-3 on the field. Amazing. Barrel value. We can teleport another barrel. We can teleport fireworks if we want here. We're just going to use these teleports. Instead of burning them, we'll actually use them, you know, we'll get some really good value out of them here. Ah, here comes all the shroom for twos and stuff. They're so annoying. He's drawing so many cards off of this. Why that card? So what's the play? Teleport fireworks, I guess. Well, barrels. Barrel will actually. Well, fireworks. Mm. Yeah, let's let's keep on it. There's no way of, of dealing with this in Let's go with fireworks. We'll just completely control. You know, he's barrel away. Totally clear the deal. Four damage to face. Pretty good. Infinite value. So we have like teleport barrel beam me up, should be fine. We'll just swarm the board and start, you know, putting these. These are nice three and four attack are nice threats. Even two attack isn't horrible, you know. You don't want really one attack guys on the field so much. You're annoying. I mean, we'll take two damage from the. If we just beam me up here, we'll take two damage. I think it's worth it. We can also bonus attack, but I'd rather save the bonus attack. We don't have Teleport Trickster, do we? No. So we'll do this. We'll Teleport Trickster... You know, if we play a Plumber here, we'll take two more... Oh no, he's gonna be drawing. Oh, I'm just, okay, wait, we don't want him to draw anymore. This Valkyrie's becoming better and better. A hopeful club will take a peek at your deck. Guard Beast removal. Uh, you only have one Garg Feast, you can't really rely on that, so it's more of a Gargantuar deck. This is kind of going to be like a low-tier uh, uh, control Boogaloo. It's not bad, it's just your win condition cards aren't really strong enough uh, to win on a high level. So, But you can win on a low level with this. It's just that if they start removing all your card, all your big guards, you're going to be in trouble. You really need to get either more Garg Feast or Octo Zombie uh, to make that deck work. So it's Teleport, it's like, you know, it's tele something with Teleport Trickster... Teleport Trickster actually costs me. We don't have Teleport Trickster bonus tech quite yet. 
We do have plumber teleport trickster. Or bonus attack teleport trickster. We can't do it the other way around. Uh, what, what is the demographic, you're asking, the analytic? Um, the, the demographics, again, the YouTube demographics are off. They say I only have about a, less than 10% viewers who are under the age of 18, which is definitely not true. It's just the... Uh... Oh, what do we do here? So, Trickster... Teleport Trickster... We also do have Teleport Trickster Plumber. I don't really want to... Really want... Well, we could Teleport Trickster Plumber. There's no reason to do the Plumber first. Let's see what happens with the block meter. We'll draw some cards, but... We might just use the plumber to proc the block here. Probably not worth it. Do we want to prevent him from drawing a card, though? No, no. Rolls a one? Doesn't. We could have plumber to face to proc the block. It's just his power is, like, super... Even blow, there's a lot of cards that will prevent the six damage regardless, so. Yeah. It, 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 in male and female, though, I, that's, I assume is about accurate, and it says it's about 90% male, 10% female. This is a, uh, male oriented game. I think most game, gaming channels are kind of like that. Oh, we're taking a lot of heat here. I have to block at some point. Mustache Monument will win here. No such luck. No sign of teleport or anything like that. Look, I mean, we could... If we were to top deck a teleport, we could actually do all that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I guess if he bounces this off, we're going to need some kind of recourse. So I, I think I have to play the barrel defensively here. We could go just Valk. This isn't bad, actually. Let's go Valk and we'll and we'll use a bonus attack. It's a solid play. Um, I'm sure this is wrong. People will just say they're over 18 just so they can they don't have limited what kind of content they can watch. It just depends how many cards he has here. It's Wild Berry. Uh, we win right now. Without anything happening right now, the Valkyrie will, will hit face and win. He'll heal himself. So now Trickster and Valk together win, so it's just bonus attack in lane 1. Obviously, bonus attack in lane 3 does nothing, because it won't actually net you any damage. Uh, but this is guaranteed lethal. Got him! 4 and 1. Gonna explode! Kills the one damage. Good setup with the Valk in front of a one health minion there. Valk fire the barrel deadbeard is getting it done. Or four. Brainana would have been pretty sick. I don't see a lot of Brainanas with Nightcap though. It's more of a Rose Guard. Just because it's better when you can ramp up to it. I believe we're at 49 and 4 stars, so. Uh, provided we win this game. Which we will! Uh, I'm gonna hit ultimately. The first loss was insanity. It was against the Mirror Nut deck, which is one of the only good decks against this, and he block meter raped us. Literally. Not literally, but... This is interesting. I'm gonna get rid of the plumber in favor of a, of a guy. I'll keep both Valks. You keep it. We have two minions, one of them's a, a deadbeard, and again, all of our powers will basically give us some type of minion. Telepathy will probably draw us into one. And, um, you know, then we have just guys. Eureka always gives you minions, and that's nice 3-1. Putting on that pressure. Putting on that pressure. I uh, will go with Beam Me Up right now. And, uh, you know, and then summoning, obviously, makes a guy. So his his powers, it happens to be, he used to have the Lightning Bolt power, and, and instead he was given Backup Dancers. Backup Dancers is actually better for this deck than Lightning Bolt power. I mean, Lightning Bolt power is definitely the more powerful trick. It's one of the best secondary tricks and guys is not but guys gives you two guys for balance it's also a trick for tricks here so and he turns a th oh, our summoning into a thing like really too bad we don't have a way of buffing up the goat we can start buffing up the goat and splashing it no actual potential for that unless we get some really good is it worth it to pay for cards in this game that's that's a decision no one can make for you you know you gotta decide that yourself this barrel is useless because there's no activator for it well, I was the scuba diver so scared. Because he was under pressure! 
I don't mind dad jokes. I actually find them amusing, even if they're not funny. Like that one. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, roll a one, and a yes. <laughs> Things are going well. He's not killing any of our minions. He's reluctant to, because the everyone smells Valk. It's kind of even more... Uh, beneficial to play Trickster just because everyone is traumatized from Valk last season. Briar Rose, Briar Rose. See, we it's interesting. We could let this happen. We don't have to take this out. I think I'm really going to put do Barrel Wrath and take this out here. We actually do want to kill these two minions too. This is the first time he's like putting a minion on the field. That's actually... <laughs> There's cake. Not bad. We do have the option to cake something here. We can always, um, we can always wrath the, this Briar Rose next turn. So, if we need a cake or wrath something else here, we'll do it. Sing Let It Go. Pool Shark from Something's Back. Oh, yeah. right. And Beleria! Here is some green to my favorite streamer <laughs> from your biggest fan in Tasmania. Tasmania, cool. Thank you so much, Beleria, for the donation. $10. Really, really appreciate it. So generous. So generous. Uh, so I believe it's Wrath this turn and Fruitcake next turn. We're not doing any bonus attacks anytime soon, so... I'll let that go. Nice that you didn't put this in the face, actually. It's actually going... Wait! Wait! It was damaged? Did I just fruitcake it? I literally... Oh, it lagged on me. That's so weird. Oh, I'm so messed up now. I literally dragged the wrong one because of the. there's a little bit of lag. Again, I'm playing... I'll show you what's going on. There's my phone. It's attached to my thing, so I have actually a phone screen. Every once in a while, it, it'll it'll just lag the thing I click on. That's insane. I meant to wrath it. How are we going to deal with this card now? Oh, we actually can deal with it now. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have it. <laughs> right in there now. Oh, that was pretty dumb. In fact, we have... Ooh, we need a teleport. Um, we're actually not in such bad shape. Actually, not in such bad shape. Would I use a bonus attack here? No, we gotta use it for the Val. So, it'd be not, it would have been nice to draw cards, but if we get a teleport, we'd be in pretty good shape here. Damn, there's a teleport. <laughs> so, teleport Val bonus attack often wins. Right now, it doesn't affect us because we're at 17 health. It's just delaying the inevitable. We have dragon fruit is a bigger problem then. Huh. Thank you so much, Azpic, for the host. It wasn't even the app. That wasn't the app problem. That was side sync. Again, there's just a little bit of actually the, the app does lag a drop now. I, they need to fix that, by the way. If anyone's listening, there's on, I, I'm on an S8. It's the, it's actually lagging my device for some reason. Which is not fun. I guess we'll go teleport Valk bonus attack here. I mean, he could block. It, we usually win. Our opponent would need a 2 and a 3, which is not so statistically likely. In fact, 8 plus 3 is 11, so Wrath will win next turn. So, let's just do this. Gotta get that 8 in. Opponent rolls a 3, of course. So we, again, we have the Wrath set up. There's block. Mogger Freeze, I guess, is left. Mog is the better one. No. Goes against it. So Mustache Monument wins immediately. I don't know why. Our opponent would have to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Top Deck Madness. Okay, goodbye. And what a great way to hit Ultimate League. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> just... Yeah, it's fine. Mustache Monument makes it guaranteed. And shabam! He would get him done. Oh yeah. Speaking of dragon, you just get a just a ton of gems. Thirty-five and three hundred. I mean, you just get so many gems for ranking up. Best way to get gems in this game, by the way, is ranking up in rank mode. We'll wait for the next match, probably. 
You can't even see the gems charge because they're too high on the screen. I had to cut off the top and the bottom of the screen. It's actually in the actual gameplay. It doesn't cut anything off. It's nice that they sort of condensed it. Um, but you can't actually see the gem counter go. This isn't Brainstorm Valk. This is Valk Trickster Hybrid. Valk doesn't win anymore because you can't. the regifters are, are too slow. And then you don't get Valks, and then it's a big problem. You need a second win condition, and this is this is how we do it. I don't really need a card draw at this point. Two Wraths is definitely too much for the Valk way. So this is slow. I'll, I'll keep this anyway. Uh, hopefully we'll draw into a, a barrel or two here. Um, teleport would be nice too. This is uh, Solar Flare. This is not a bad matchup. Ooh, we need a Plumber. Oh no, we have the four Plumbers in this deck, but... Oh man, this is not good. We need a barrel this minute. Okay, that's not bad. Ag Let's see, Ag you know what? Aggro Solar Flare, if you get a lot of bungee plumbers and stuff, but right now he could just do two more of these next turn, this turn, and or this is a major problem. If he goes a little budget and goes Wildberry, we'll actually have somewhat of an answer here. What is this? Please play you when you're online. Wow, so slow. I'm so happy to see a two attack guy there, not a 3 3 or something. Holy smokes, we're just back in the game because of this slow play. I'm not a fan of this card at all, by the way. Happens to be. So, will Wrath he'll, might Strawberry in here now? I don't know, maybe this is, maybe this is not a, a, a straight up aggro deck. This deck would perform well against aggro. I mean, we can control them every single turn as long as you start off with a Bungie Plumber. He goes face with the two damage. It's just such a brainless way of playing. It's Why would you only want to have one minion on the field? Good. Look how many you have now. Zero. Congratulations. Nothing really to charge the Valk with right now. We do have a Fruitcake for the Strongberry, which is probably incoming. So uh, we'll go with Beam Me Up. If he doesn't do anything, I guess we'll... Uh, we're at eight, so it'll actually bring us to nine. Yeah, we can draw cards here. This is not Aggro Solar Flare. This is stupid Solar Flare. He's milling us, sort of. There's a deep sea guard. Um, teleport fireworks actually gets it done here. Because <laughs> going face, hallelujah. Uh, I'll probably use this. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't want to take either of these damages, so the play's either fruitcake this, or we can teleport. I don't have another activator for my Valk is the problem. The 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 beam me up will be useful later, and so will this. I think they're just gonna go teleport. We'll draw a card. Fireworks. We'll do it like this. Having beam me up and fruit cakes together is good. We also have more card draw. So we're up to nine cards. There's a barrel. Is there a reason to develop the barrel right now? No. No, we're just controlling. Oops. No. When I right-click my mouse, by the way, the things that I'm, I click the back button on my phone. I wonder if I can change that. It probably is. Yeah, we'll go to the settings. Uh, delete. Delete. Every time you reinstall this, you have to delete this. Yeah, it doesn't work. Nope. What is this guy doing? Why? Let's just put more guys in the field. Because science. What's going on, Elzar? Again, we're down to 10. We're not in a very comfortable position right here, but we really do have ways of, you know, loo a few berry blasts right now. Maybe he just has three berry blasts in his hands. It's still not enough. How often do you upload a YouTube video? I, I, I tend to do five a week. I'm going to try to upload a little bit more because I want to be doing Gwent videos also. So I'm going to try to upload one every less than 24 hours is my goal. But uh, it ends up being about five a week. It's not every day. I don't upload, I don't live stream on Saturdays also. So uh, I do six days a week. I do about six and then five videos. And... <laughs> I don't care, I'm counting it as a win. I don't even care. Stupid scrubs. Probably just disconnected. Why no rocket? We're running fruitcake instead of rocket. The reason is because, again, weaknesses in this deck. People just come in, I explained this before. Uh, weaknesses of this deck, one of the main weaknesses 
three weaknesses are um, Mirror Nut, Wing Nut, and Picanolith, and they all have uh, seven health and less than four attack. And we're definitely going to be going with the Trickster way. I wonder if we keep card draw here against Chomzilla. We could use some big removal. I think I'm going to get rid of this. And get a Valk. Probably better. Ah, uh, yeah, it's definitely better. This is daily, I don't know. Uh, you do develop this. I wonder if we develop this on height so it doesn't get scorched. We'll have to make him use better, more resources to get rid of this card. Sumo! <laughs> Not bad. The two threes are good. I guess there. What's the best thing to get there? Probably Cool Shark. Conad's not bad anyway. Putting the guys in the field, I mean, you're gonna grind them down eventually. It just forces them to remove them at some point. Beam me up. You beam me up. Really nice to have a teleport here. So we do have an activator for both our Trickster and our Valk. Looks like the Trickster's gonna come in first and then the Valk. We'll probably just play, right, if we don't get another teleport or something like that, we'll play the Trickster um, dry. It just does an immediate six and then teleport the Valk in the next turn. This is not paid too much to win. This is Professor paid to actually win. And we are featuring the um, two, two, the two best legendaries right now for the zombies are Valk and Trickster. Valk is less. I'd say Trickster right now is being graduated to, been promoted to the top one. He just drew cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten perhaps. Um... Would we cycle through here and, and, and burn a teleport just to get the tricksters rolling? That's a tough decision. Well, probably we have so many activators. I'm actually gonna burn it. Just to get these tricksters rolling. Uh, well, the plumbers are, are, are kind of more... We'll, we'll use the two plumbers together on something. He's down to 10 now, so... Oh, we have two fruitcakes. Get this mannequin C button. Slowzilla is exactly right, Setcha. Exactly correct. This is so slow! This card dies to everything! It doesn't die to Nibble. What are you doing, man? In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wish I could mill him. I so wish I could mill him here and actually win with Trickster. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and he'll draw a card, actually. Didn't what? I'm actually doing this play. He has to play this card. If he doesn't, he's only screwed either way. It's basically guaranteed lethal. Let's see what he does here. Two, two, and three. If he, if he scorches one of these, we're going to have to plumber to face or supers it. Okay, he didn't play it. He didn't play the, the thing. Good, he's milled. He's actually milled. It's actually guaranteed lethal now. Goodbye. It doesn't even matter. I'll plumber him to face. He's going to draw an extra card this turn. Unless he goes... No, officially if he blocks right now, it's even worse. He's totally milled. He's completely and utterly milled. Does not play his cards. And he dies to Trickster. No blocks. Get that weak stuff out of here. Slow Zilla. Was, what turn was that? That was turn five? <sighs> Basically set it up on turn four. Ridiculous. What's the best common card? So, you know, Berry Blast is good, and, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Team Mascot is a really good common card. Got him. Bungie Plumber. Bungie Plumber is a great card. Bungie Plumber is a great card. I guess, I guess Lurch for Lunch is, is also interesting. Lurch for Lunch is a common, isn't it? It's a very, very solid, really, really powerful card, this one. This actually might be the best one. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for, again, either a Valk or a Trickster. We'll start cycling through here. We did get the Valk. I'll keep the Teleport. It'll come in handy. It cycles through. It's, 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 instead of mulliganing this, let's play, get some value out of it, and we'll draw a card anyway, so... It's kind of an automatic mulligan. When is Smash Storm? Do you know... You're my favorite YouTuber of all time. You guys are so nice. I've been getting so many just really positive comments. And thank you, Mr. Marcio. Great clip, as usual. Um, I, I, I really, I, I really, really appreciate it. It's, you know, it's it's a tough business, and there's so many trolls. And the, I mean, the trolls don't really get to me, because I just automatically assume that they're really, like, eight, basically. <laughs> Eight-year-olds with no lives. Something like that. 
but um it's it's so nice that we have such a positive community particularly twitch is so toxic if you look at some of these fortnite streams and stuff like that I, I don't know if it's because of the game itself the fact it's kind of like a nice game and it's very cartoony and the fact it's kind of more for thinking people rather than for uh, shoot em up guys uh we'll, we'll play this why not get a couple minions in the field start cycling through these blocks this is stupid wall knight's actually hard to kill with this deck um, the crafting will be updated soon. It'll happen the same time as the daily challenges. It's just there's a little bit of lag. I think they, they I think Popcat for this game are allocated limited resources since EA doesn't invest a lot, and that's why you know there's that's why there's the weird the weirdness. But I'm 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 living through it. Um, I'm saying even Ninja Chad, even just these people are playing. It's just the community is so positive, you know. It's 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 amazing. We're actually gonna put the barrel there. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, daily challenge is not working. We'll play the barrel this turn and probably just develop a Valk next turn. And we'll kill our little back of dancer, all the better. I find the Gwent community is a little bit less toxic too. I don't know what people say it is. I don't know which Gwent community is so toxic. If you watch the tournaments, actually, it's pretty toxic, but that's what I'm saying. It's less thinking. I was talking about PvZ Heroes as a thinking game. Um, I guess it wasn't clear there. What exactly that. Why would you do this here? This one dies anyway. He's not... What? What is... Okay, what is this guy doing? I'm definitely saving a teleport, by the way. It's a terrible joke, just to avoid any misunderstanding. So it's 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 nice, you know. No one likes the toxicity. I hope I hope it's good. Anyway, that's interesting. This is a cool play. It's a really cool play, actually. <laughs> what is, this guy's totally drunk. How did this guy hit? What are you doing? That's gonna die in the barrel explosion, dude. This guy is drunk. This guy is totally SH1T face right now. Just decided, hey, let's play some PvC heroes. Okay, that makes it slightly better. Anyway. So we'll do four damage to his face here. Shabam! Charge the Valk up to eight, uh, ten now. So teleport Valk does win. Where's a bonus attack? Trickster. Do we teleport Valk? Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, well, maybe you know we're gonna get we're drawing two cards at least because we're teleporting and then drawing card top of our turn. Could get another teleport or a mustache monument easily, so. It's only turn five, and we're setting up for the kill already. It's such a great deck. I mean, we lost that first game, but if anyone here counts takes that game as a lesson about anything about this deck, other than that it's a bad matchup against Mirror Nuts, and we actually almost won, <laughs> it's like this deck is ruining everyone. Two big Valks might as well play one, but a Valk could easily be lethal. If he goes for removing these dead beards here, Valk will win. And he decides to chump. Can you kill this one? If he kills this one, we, we have guaranteed lethal here, so might as well go for the win. Particularly against Wall Knight, that's... What is this? <laughs> this guy's insane. You know, I'm I'm actually considering not Valking right now because if we Valk, we hit, and he rolls a two and a three, he's gonna block. Otherwise, these Valks just win next turn. I'm actually gonna do this play. Is there a reason to fruitcake? What turn was this? Five six. Teleport Valk Fruitcake actually next turn. Let's save the Fruitcake. Whoever knew that, you know, instead of bonus attack, you can just use Fruitcake as an activator. This is, I mean, he, unless he armors up right now and he, he's expecting the Valk, perhaps. Um, 
We, we win. We just... It's, there's no way he can prevent this. There's nothing he's going to be putting that has more than 7 health soul patch. It doesn't even help. Yay, so much damage. La -dee -da -dee -da. I'll do the fancy way for science. I could have just teleported that lane for it, doesn't even matter. And you're dead. See you later. I think Valk is dead now. It's very much alive. Teleport Valk bonus attack is still. Or teleport Valk fruitcake is in here. Oh, fruitcake is such a great activator. You know, it's so cheap. It costs two. If it would have cost three, first of all, rocket science would not have removed anything on that field. Um, second, it's just it's so versatile. Fruitcake's a really good card. Much better than I thought. Because you think of it as a control card that draws them a card, which in the past is bad. But when you have these. You know, just you gotta put on the damage decks. Now this is a deck we this is a hand we can't keep. It's too many win condition cards and too few not win condition cards. We have the barrel. I'm gonna actually ditch the trickster and just go double valve. Um uh, reluctantly. Telepathy. Barrels are really good against Nightcap. Here's an ultimately Nightcap. Let's see. You know, Nightcap could get it done. If he cycle does Cycle Cap and he does enough damage, uh, it is doable. Super actually happy to see a one health minion here because it's a good place just to stick this dead beard and get our minion cycle going. And we have Fireworks, Mustache Monument. Oof. This is a Valk hand. This Trickster is totally superfluous. We're probably never going to end up using it. Now let's just do this. We'll just fire. It's total solitaire right now. We're just Fireworks, Fireworks. And by that time, we're we to, fireworks, fireworks, maybe Valk, and then just on turn six, it's just going to be these two. I mean, the, we can, this is just going to happen automatically now. We're going to end up doing some damage with our minions, too. He's not going to be able to control a 4-3 and a 3-3 next turn, probably. What is this? That pass <laughs> so slow. <laughs> Most of my wins are when people were drunk. <laughs> I make it look easy, that's why. See what I did there? Okay, so we'll, we're gonna clog ground lanes are, is our priority because, um, again, one of the main weapons of Nightcap is Cyclecap using an environment called Planet of the Grapes, so might as well put the guy on the ground. He doesn't really have any advantage on the ground. He'll, he just has to remove these cards because of the amount of damage, pure damage they're putting on. Trickster's already at six. Ridiculous. Or not Trickster, Valk, I mean. Yeah, we can develop a 6-6 six, six Valk here, why not, you know? Um, it's gonna be Mustache Monument Valk. Bounce. What do we do here? I guess let's do Fireworks, then Valk next turn. Well, the fireworks could be used defensively, actually. I wonder if that's smart. We could even teleport. We might even actually teleport Valk next turn and then just do Valk Mustache. Yes, keep removing it. Control Nightcap. Keep it going. He only has two two suns, so nothing to do here. Okay, now we're at eight. Uh, ten, I believe, is the lucky number. I believe it's pass. You're gonna beam me up Wrath, I think. Okay. I don't wanna do too much damage. He's this is control nightcap. I wouldn't be surprised if he's running Dragon Fruit or uh could even see Dandelion King here. I think it's a beam me up teleport Valk. I don't wanna charge his block meter too much though. Low. And pass. Bonus attack would be nice. Another Valk. Let's do it like this, I believe. This will help cycle through the block and a little bit of damage. Yes! Block! Come on! Destroy one of these. Oh, I guess he doesn't have any powers that can take these out, huh? What does he have? More Spore, Super, Blow, and uh, and Rain. Huh. Okay. Trickster almost win. Actually, wait. These two would, would win next turn. 
Uh, these two are so close here. <laughs> we are very close. I mean, he'd have to bounce this off the field. I guess Wrath... Wrath and then Mustache Monument wins. Mustache Monument next turn. We don't have to play anything here, actually. Wrath, to, even if he bounces both of these, let's say, or chump blocks one and bounces the other, which he can't even chump block because we have this card. Um, Wrath to face this turn, followed by Mustache Monument Valk is guaranteed lethal. He's not. He's... We'll just change it to 9 and 1 right now. He doesn't have a chance. What could he possibly do here? Hey, look, 10. What do you know? We can BM him. That's our best play right now is to BM him. Arr! <laughs> I'm getting angry. No one freaking cares. Get this weak garbage out of here. Should know what's happening by now. We actually have two ways of winning. We have either Mustache Valk or Mustache Trickster is also guaranteed lethal. <laughs> I'd rather do Mustache Trickster for some reason. This seems more fun. Double bonus attack. Hello? Don't freeze. Die? <laughs> and die. Got him! So anyway guys, again, we lost that first game and it was we it was so lucky by our opponent. I'll, I'll, I, in my books, this wasn't a 100% win rate. I mean, that first game was a just so dumb. I, I, this was amazing, you know? Amazing, amazing deck. I believe this is gonna get crowned since the regular Valve decks, again, have gotten nerfed. The Regifting Zombie is too slow. You gotta add another win condition. I believe this is gonna, once again, take the crown as the best zombie deck in the game. Possibly the best deck in the game, because, again, Aggro Solar Flare, Stupid Haunted Pumpkin, is quite bad. Uh, against this deck because of all the bungee plumbers beam me ups even barrel fireworks There's just so many answers to aggro decks in this uh, in this deck uh, So much power so reliable the deck list is so important that you don't don't start taking out the tricks and running more minions That is the biggest mistake you could really be doing this. There's plenty of minions in this deck uh, For your Valkyries uh, you got to really keep the tricks just reliable super important. Hope you guys enjoy peace This is Fry once again